where um, Don Blandy and Grace Warren Tower were just sitting around the Star Bulletin talking story and it was around May Day and then somebody says you know we should do something in Hawaii for May Day and they coined the phrase May Day is May Day in Hawaii. May Day is May Day in Hawaii. And it's been history ever since. In about the early 30s, it became the responsibility of Parks and Recreation to put on this event where we celebrate the artistry of Lady. Ladies and gentlemen, Queen Pearl Marie Kuamohala Kaholokula. To come back for the second time, being the Lay Queen representing everybody and seeing the community come together and our visitors. Um, they are just in awe. I am in awe how many people showed up. and special for my son to be singing, my daughter to be chanting, and just being able to share our legacy of my music. And it was an opportunity for our family to, to show that you know, together we can do good things, and it's to encourage other families that together you know, that bond will never be broken. They represent Hawaii, they represent the, the reason why we make lay. They're such they're gracious women. And so they represent our culture and all the aspects of lay making, the artistry of making lay. So they represent each and every one of those lay on the board as well. And all the work that all those lay makers put out today. He asked me if I was a judge. And I was still young then. And I said, that's my first thing. Can I judge? They said, hey, you know more about lay making than any of the other judges. So I said, oh, okay. So I tried it. You know, and it was wonderful. I enjoyed it. So here I am, 50 years later, still judging, <laughs> and it's been fun all these years. The lay has to be pretty and uh, well done, the workmanship. But for me, wearability is the most important because you can't wear a lay. To me, I mean, it's not a lay, you know. So wearability is very important to me. You know, of course, uh, workmanship is important too. But. Uh, but actually, I love all the ladies. This was a really hard lay, and actually it came about when I was at Mary Monica this year. Because the blue jay comes from Hilo in my uh, friend's hotel place. And I had done a couple of lays, and then that's when I decided to do this this way. Especially for um, May Day, it's really different because you can use stuff that normally you don't use. And it's more fun that way. Making lay, giving lay, wearing a lay is, has become our tradition. From birth to death, we give people lay to celebrate all kinds of um, celebrations and activities in our lives, right? Whenever you're making a lay, you're putting a part of you into the crafting of your lay for that special someone or for that special event. So lay has always been important from the time of our ali'i um, till now. So it's, an, it's a special thing that we all connect to um, as people. This is what makes Honolulu and Hawaii unique. It's something that as a people, we need to really make sure that we, we don't lose it because otherwise, um, we, leave, we lose who we are as a people. Today we are at Mauna Ala, which is where all of our ali'i are tuned. So with all the contestants lays that was turned in yesterday at the lay um, festival, we're now here bringing the lays to honor our ali'i. Oh, Kawana, eh, 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 e